Hello, people. On X again. I'll make this short and brief as much as I can, but I can sure talk. Yeah, I have hour rants sometimes. But this is about black people getting flack for dating outside their race. Um, a couple of days ago, um, there was a lady. She got all types of flack. And gets disrespected. Hell, just like me for living a certain lifestyle, right? Look, it is wrong to be called all types of bitches, whores, and cunts for not dating a black man. These same black men date outside of the race, too. And the ones who specifically do it to these types of women, those same brothers would sit here and tell me, oh, I'm with a white chick. I'm not going to drop names, but brother, you have, now, you may not be with a white or non-black woman, but some of these brothers on these airwaves, I've heard, yeah, you guys have. So you can't diss the fact that she's with someone else. You're mad because she's making fun of you because you're a black man. But. Because here's the thing. You'll date whoever you damn want. And a lot of men won't bat an eye. Sisters won't. However, on the other end. Same thing. Women. Sisters, same thing. They'll shit on uh, black men who shit on black women, but I have not too often, it does happen, but not too often, not too often um, black women criticize other black women for not being with a black man because there's a bit of a bias there. I've seen that too. Many of them don't have a problem. They just don't, they just want that black man I think you just want the option of having a black man when you feel like going back to one or when you want one and not being disrespected as a black woman or, or a black man if it's turned the way around. Uh, I believe, I think black men want the option of being with a black woman. They don't, they don't ever want to have that off the table. Some have just completely decimated that option. They said, I don't care, I don't want it. But others more so have a problem with being disrespected as a black man by other black women. Um, I think to alleviate any type of um, pain or, or uh, disrespect or whatever I think now this is only my, this is just my acquired wisdom but I think that I think that you should not entertain the thought of disrespecting the uh, the male or female portion of your own race to another race and entertain the idea. I don't think that's right. It pumps their head up or just makes them look at your entire group like, well, they, they ain't shit, but you're cool. That's not a position you want to be in. You don't want to be looked at as the the good one and the rest of your people are bad. Because eventually that person's going to get comfortable to him how they, and say how they really feel when they get angry at you. And possibly it's going to come onto you. And you don't want that. I'm saying that because of my own personal experiences. I don't know about the next person's. <laughs> <coughs> Man, but um, so I know what people feel when they've been been called a traitor to their race. It's not right because they have um never walked our shoes. They have never uh, had our experiences. They've never um had our gripes and pains. So who are they to judge? We could equally judge them when they have 
when that same person who criticizes you, it contributed to the um, negative perception of their own race. You know, we have a lot of walking stereotypes in our community, so I think that, you know, black woman wants to be with a white guy. Do what you damn want to do. No. I don't think you should, like, promote it like it's better. Because it's not. No, the person may be better, but their race is not. Their skin doesn't qualify them. It's their character. Um, I've slowly began to chip away at some of my own beliefs. Um, Because a lot of them were not right. Um, And uh, my philosophies and ideas were somewhere on par. Others were kind of like limited in thinking. And um, it's good to rethink how you viewed certain groups of people. Some may surprise you. Um, And maybe you don't know yourself. You just have to get used to um, certain individuals because if you spend so little time around them, you don't get to, you don't let them grow in you. Because in some sense, they are you. And and, and the most important thing that I, I think is overlooked, this is what someone told me a long time ago. For, to me personally, and this goes back to a, a dead topic is is probably as old as dark skin, light skin, or <laughs> are weaves good or not. Uh, but which I don't care about weaves, but whatever. I'm just not about weaves. Uh, um, and and that my, my whole opinion on that has changed too. That's a different story. But this is about um, um, when you're with someone you love, if they make you happy, that's cool. And back to what the lady was uh, told me, she said to me, Freddie, I would hate for you to be unhappy um, in a community or a group of people that you feel unwelcome by. Because of one of those roots is some of these brothers and sisters never felt welcome. And if you don't feel, them feel welcome, they're going to go find it somewhere else. If you never made a motherfucker feel welcome, in a group that he was supposed to be a part or he or she was supposed to be a part of. You have no right to criticize them for their choices because you were the individual that made them feel unwelcome. They were never even invited. In your home, in your heart, in your community. But that's just my spill. Um, but that's all. On exam.